A driver sips coffee. We spend so much of our lives driving from place to place. A young girl waits on a bench. A couple looks for parking. I'm just going to stop. Right here? Yes. Save us a seat. Shouldn't it be easier and safer to get where we want to go? A teen driver texts. Since 2009, our team at Google has been developing fully self-driving technology and testing it on real city streets every single day until after more than a million miles, we were ready to take a big step forward. Google cars drive on test courses in city streets. In 2015, we completed the world's first truly driverless ride on public roads. A blind man steps into Google's prototype vehicle. Just a person in a car, no steering wheel, no pedals, navigating everyday traffic. He rides alone in the car. Well, I've never been in Austin, Texas. Now I'm driving in Austin, Texas. Steve Mahan, former CEO, Santa Clara Valley Blind Center. The pod-shaped vehicle is white with a small sensor dome on the roof. It smoothly navigates traffic on public roads. It's a profound experience for me to be alone in a car. A very important segment of my life was cut away when my vision failed. And a self-driving car would give me a huge part of my life back. This is just the beginning. Two future teens take a ride. We're looking ahead to a new way, a better way for everyone. In self-driving cars, a parent and toddler play. Sisters head to an event. An elderly couple snuggle. A grandmother and grandson read a tablet. A word changes. Way mobility, way movement, way moments. Say hello to Waymo. A new logo, Waymo.